Here we go. So obviously, I didn't really care at this point because I already had four up. So I won the Stanley Cup already. The main event. Here we go. It was Roosh defending the Ring of Honor World Champion against Bandito. This match was awesome. And I didn't even know that Roosh was part of Los Ignomables. So here's the funny thing. So Pina Gallery, because he's an idiot. I chose Roosh to win. Right. Um. So she knew. No, no. Your, you did not connect. La Faction Ingobernable to the entire thing of Los Ingobernables. No, I did. No, you didn't. I didn't know that Rouge was part of it. His dad is La Bessia del Ring. His brother is Dragon Lee. How do you not know that he was part of La Faction Ingobernable? Because I'm an idiot. Nick. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, you are... Like, that's almost... <laughs> You almost drive me to have another drink, but I have to be good. Well, I'm not. Ugh. So anyway, um, this match was freaking <laughs> awesome. Um, but here, okay, here's my problem with this match. I might bitch about this later, even though I won. Bandito rolled up Roosh. Band- yeah, some bullshit. Bandito is the Ring of Honor. There was some bull shit a fucking source. But guess what? You only won by one match. I know. You love, you, you love to get close to some bullshit, don't you? You know what? I can I can make that claim now. And so guess what? I'm glad that you got swept, you bitch. <laughs> you you got swept until the very end, but you still got you only won by one match technically. Doesn't matter. On the swept on the record books, you only won by one match. I still swept. The they bitch. were still there were still differences. I still won matches no matter what. It doesn't matter. It was that still was a mercy killing. One and one match difference. My God. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, it was a ro- it was a roll up. For Bandito to win, but even then, he never actually held the belt. Uh, La Faction Ingobernable came out and attacked him, and then they just cut. That was weird. It was a weird ending to this. What? Oh, so, be- well, before we leave, though, let's talk about the women's yes. tournament. Okay, hold on. Okay, yes. So, let's let's talk. Actually, you know what? I want to talk about that when we make Pro Wrestling Majestic again. Okay, great. So, when we come back, we're going to make not only Ring of Honor Majestic again, but... Pro Wrestling Majestic again. All right, so how are we going to make Ring of Honor Majestic again? Let us start with this match. So number one, the orient uh, I like the match itself, but the orientation right. of the match was a very poor decision. This should not have been the opening match for the show. I Period. Agree. Period, end of story. Like, it should not have been. This should have been... Either the fourth match in or the ninth match in right. as a toilet break match. I'm sorry. There was not really a big rivalry going right. into this match. I couldn't care less about this match. It just was there. Right. I just think they want to do a Briscoes match. And right. it's like, honestly, the Briscoes at that point are a little overrated. Might as well have Jay Lethal and uh, Brody King. 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 Brody King. King. Lee King. Anyway, let's talk about the next one. Um, I'm not going to really give too much fault in this because, number one, I thought the match itself was fine. Um, the rivalry- well, well, again, here's the thing about this tag team. Here's the thing about this. It was not about these two teams in general. It was about the factions that they were involved with. Right. Violence Unlimited, obviously the name speaks for itself. Right. And Los Inmanables. No. no. Uh, the Foundation. The Foundation. But Los Ignobles is part of that same team. La, no, Los Ignobles. Los Ignobles. It's La Faccion Ignobernable in this company. It's La Faccion Ignobernable. Just say La Faccion instead of looking like an idiot. Anyway. LF. LFI. LFI. Yeah! Just say LFI. Anyway, um, I thought the match was fine. Um, so. With given the circumstances of like the car wreck or whatever the hell happened with Tony Depp or not Tony Depp and with uh, Tracy Williams, and them changing it like twice, it was kind of weird. Right. It was kind of weird. But they they did end up pulling off a decent little match. I'm not mad about it. Um, but, I can't. But again, but again, the problem is is that it was not about the tag teams themselves. It was about the overall faction. Right. 
It was fine. So let's talk about, okay. I really can't say anything about this. You can't make this any more majestic than it was. It was a majestic match. It was a great match. It was a great match. Great rivalry going into it. I love how they're and, really, they're uh, really promoting Dalton Castle saying, I have things to do. I have this and that. So, it was fun. So Draper, Castle, and Esam, are, they're not, they're not a part of a faction though, are they? Mm-mm. Whereas the other three, they are. Shane Taylor Promotions. Right. They're part of Shane Taylor Promotions. So you're giving the three... I mean, I love it because there's a depth to that tag team division. Right. I mean, it's not even a tag team division. It's a factional division. Right. So I think that uh, what I like about ROH is that there's that depth. But let's talk about the depth. Let's talk about the women's tournament that's happening this month. Who made their debut was Chelsea, so Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green made her first appearance, and she unraveled WWE in a sentence. Um, and then she's like, uh, so I guess her arm is still hurt. I don't know how. I feel like they botched a the surgery or something. But she still has a cast on her arm, so she's her match is the very last one. Um, here's the thing. So people are like, oh, why didn't they do a close-up of the Ring of Honor World Champion? Or the Ring of Honor Women's Champion, they're not done with it. Yeah, that, that was, was a mock-up. no. It was a rep. It was one of those toy replicas oh. of the Ring of Honor World Champion. That's why I said that looks like a smaller version of the Ring of Honor World Champion. But anyways, because it was. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Chelsea Green took a couple jabs at WWE, which we kind of expect at this point. Cause... Whatever, because I guess she doesn't have any talent. Anyway, um, let's talk about. Jonathan Gresham and Mike Bennett. Here's the thing. Mike Bennett should have won. He should have won. I mean, even though I chose Jonathan Gresham, I knew he was going to win. And that was based out of necessity of I mean, keeping look, the belt. Jonathan Gresham is a great representative of the pure division. But Mike Bennett, has he had the story to go into this. And I think it would have been a great feel-good moment for not only him, ben but for the fans. Heel. Even though Mike Bennett is a heel-ish. Right. Isn't Mike Bennett kind of a heel He's kind of a heel. And Jonathan Gresham kind of with, with ROH, it's... it's they, just, they just don't want Jonathan Gresham to lose, but it's like Mike Bennett would have been the right person to do. Number one, he has a backstory. Number two, he has a talent. There's a, there going to be a rematch. And he, was, he was really popular. There's a rematch. This would have been it. It's best in the world. This is their biggest event other than their anniversary show. They're in every match. Stupid. So stupid. Stupid. It was. Ooh, let's talk about this one. All right. So oh, speaking of stupid, why did they not give Bandito the moment with the championship? He beat Roosh. Roosh by roll-up. I don't care if it was by roll-up. He beat him. Roosh is still a credible number one contender, but why didn't they give him that? I get it. Left Faction and Gubernable should have attacked him. That's fine. I don't care, but why not have him have the belt? We did not see a single moment of the new Ring of Honor world champion with the belt. None. Zero. Besides him laying on the ground and... Looking like an idiot. Yeah. He looked like an idiot. That is your main representative. Why do you look like a jackass? Because reasons. It's stupid. It was really stupid. This was the perfect opportunity to bring in somebody new. What about Kalisto? Brian Danielson. Right. You had options. And the thing was, and you so, made the so, right you made the wrong option. And, and so and so you have all these people who are ready to go, who have been released by the E, and you have like fucking Brian Danielson. Ray Horace. You could have had Ray Horace come in there and even the odds and run people off. Right. Bandito should have had his moment, and yet you didn't. Right. Yeah. That was a crime. And I don't think Pina Gallery is any contention. Number one, Bandito should have won in front of fans, but he should have had that moment with He should have won with dignity. He should have won with the belt. Won with dignity. Other, uh, otherwise, who cares? Bandito is not a world champion in my book. He's he's. A I'm very holder. I'm he's very. He's a placeholder for Rush's third reign. I'm very frustrated. That's what, that's what it is. And it sucks because Bandito is very good. Yeah. No, Bandito is a placeholder. 
Anyway, let's talk about the next one. So, number one, why did Roosh lose it, but then Dragon Lee win the Ring of Honor World TV Champion? Well, so number one, Tony Deppin was a replacement. That's literally what he was. As soon as Dragon Lee was healthy enough, he was ready. Yeah. So, maybe Roosh is hurt somewhere? I don't know. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe he's well, the only reason that he could have won that champ, that, that uh, Bandito would have won that champion by roll up. It was right. because Roosh was hurt. That's it. That, or maybe he has a visa issue because I mean, he still lives in Mexico. Right, no, you know, it's like, come on. Nobody cares. Well, they fucking do. It's Ring right. of Honor. But anyway, so yes, Dragon Lee won the belt. Um, here's my thing. I really wish Tony Deppin won this because now Tony Deppin looks like a paper placeholder champion. And he's and good enough. he's going to be. Right. It's like, I mean, unless he does something great and wins it back, there's no way. All right. I just can't take that seriously. They just made a really wrong call with this. Wait until later for Dragon Lee to win this title back or have Tony Deppin win it, uh, win the match again and have him defend against Dragon Lee again and then lose it then. Right. But I feel like with this like quick change around, that was kind of what happened. Right. All right, once again, here's where I might have a problem. Let's talk about this one. Number one. I liked the rivalry going into it, and the match was fine, and I was not offended by it. EC3 looked great. Mm -hmm. um, and also, um, and so the people were so behind Flip Gordon, and he slapped EC3 a couple of times and continued. Hawk the Lugie. It was right down EC3's cheek. I'm like, wipe it away. Um, but anyway, why? Flip Gordon is going for the Ring of Honor World Champion at Glory by Honor right, so why they in a month. Why did he lose? EC3 could have faced anybody else. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that EC3 and Flip Gordon, they both should have won, but they should have won different matches. Right. Not you shouldn't have to have make this. You shouldn't have to make this decision. They have put themselves into this corner because they already announced that Flip Gordon was going to face either Rouge or Bandito for the Ring of Honor World Champion at Glory by Honor on Saturday. Why did they do that? This made no sense. They booked themselves into a corner. This is WWE level mistake. Right. This is W. Here's my thing. If they really want to do something like this, if you want to make this shit majestic again, make it a number one contender match. Right. Then whoever won it, even if it was EC3, he would have earned his opportunity. Exactly. And then you had either Roosh versus you had, EC3 you had, you or had Bandito a, versus EC3. I would have been you, cool you with had, either you one. Had the comeback, you had the comeback kid versus Flip Gordon and you already announced him as number one contender. It you was, already announced Flip Gordon. I thought he was going to I mean, why? What, what was the point of this? This was best in the world. Like glory by honor you would have done this stupid shit if you want to do stupid shit. This was such a bad choice. Right. It was. It was a bad choice, not for the match itself, but for putting these two together where they both had something to prove. Right. Let's talk about this one. It was that no one cared. So what about this? Why not switch some of the contenders for these matches? Let's do, let's do, Josh, let's do Josh Woods and EC3 and then Flip Gordon and Silas Young and exactly. do that. Exactly. And then Josh Woods and Silas Young are the losers for both of those matches. Right. Or vice versa, or whatever they're going to do, right? But the point is, is that EC3 and Flip Gordon both get the chance to fucking win, right? Why? Why did they do that? And then, all, obviously, it was Josh Wood and Silas Young. They had a rivalry, right? They had a rivalry going into it. Um, the match itself was very like lackluster. It was a wet fart in church. It was. It wasn't very good. It was. A, it was a fart that you're not trusting. It was a fart. Right. So it was what it was. I just, I don't know what to do to do this. I would have done maybe something a little more personal, a little more intense. Mm. Um, maybe book the match a little bit differently, but that's a producer problem, not a booking problem. So I loved how they booked this. I love it. Did we talk about this already, Jay Lethal? No. Oh. No, no, we, we talked about the result of it later because we skipped over right. it. So, anyways, Jay Lethal and this was the right call yes. by one hundred percent. Even though you chose Jay Lethal, Jay Lethal is already an established main eventer. He can lose a ten 
thousand matches. He is the Hiroshi Tanahashi of this promotion. That's true. He can go for any belt, no problem. He is the good. He is a good person to go for the was, world title. He, he was. He was there to put somebody else over. And that's what they needed to do with Brody Lee. If Brody Lee lost this, they killed Brody Lee. Brody but King. They, or Brody King. I swear to God. I did that again. They did this so great with Brody King. Do I have to, like, replace you? No. No. Because you already have your own mic. I would have done the same thing on that one. It, it wouldn't have made a difference. But they needed to do something with Brody King to make him an established competitor. If you... I'm going to hit you. So kind <laughs> of push him out of the way. <laughs> the, right? So the problem was is that Brody King needed this win. <laughs> Jay Lethal did not. And he, they made him look so strong as well. They did this right. And I'm so happy about this. I wouldn't have changed a damn thing. Right. And I think that covers all of our main show matches. Except for oh. um demonic so okay, let's let's do um let's do the um let's do the hour one matches. Mm. I like so I here's the one thing. I like this match. They did a great job. My problem was why did they do it here? They should have built a budding rivalry between these two specifically. I was I was okay with it. They should have built a different rivalry specifically between these two and had this at Glory by Honor. Yeah, I was perfectly fine with it, though. Nah. Yeah. Now, this match should have been on our one. Uh, Don Howes and PCO are the next number of contenders for the Tag Team Championships. Obviously. If they don't do this by Glory by Honor, a lot of people are going to be pissed. I'll be pissed. Up oh, there goes some more trash cans rolling around <laughs> here in the wind. Oh, it's yeah. very windy outside right now. Yep, we're not putting our trash cans out until later. I don't care. I'm actually kind of curious. I might go out there and look at it later. But anyway, um, other than that, do you have anything else to say about any other match that we have covered when we make Pro Wrestling Majestic again? Not really. I think you did a pretty, a pretty physician job of making Pro Wrestling Majestic again. But I want to hear from you guys. Did you watch the show? Let me know what you think about it. What would you have done differently for each match? Comment down below. And I'm wrestled out for the week. Yep. Um, so, next, next week. Next week. So, we're going to do Slammiversary and Money in the Bank. Luckily, they're on two different nights, so we're not going to have an issue about streaming both of them. Easy we to are do. still doing our... We're going to resume wrestling, and we are going to reduce... We're going to resume heckling. Yep. And um, we're going to go with that. We have a very exciting topic for our... Uh, later in July, there's a weekend where you don't have any pay-per-views, so we're yep. really excited about that. Absolutely. And thank you guys so much for listening. Follow us on social media. All of the links are below this video. And as always, a boy, Majestic. <laughs>